You see this cute little fella right here? What does he resemble to you? A curious fox? A soft, cuddly otter? A friendly ferret? Believe it or not, that's what I thought too. But man, oh man, I was terribly wrong. The Pine Martin is in fact a cat-sized member of the weasel family. Dark brown fur envelops its long body, except for a large, creamy white patch at the throat. It feeds on small rodents, birds, eggs, insects, and fruit. So for them to attack these big wild animals makes no sense, since they're not food for them. Take a look at this insane moment captured. A Martin gives a small deer, known as the Muntjack, a run for his money. Well, the run isn't successful. The two duel in a head-to-head -head combat, and perhaps the deer thinks he's got the upper hand. But what starts as a playful-looking fight ends gruesomely. These Martins really have no shame. I mean, look at this. That's a wee baby elk. He's hunting. And it makes sense that the Martin would go after the baby elk, because an adult elk would have completely crushed the Martin, as the elk is the biggest species of the deer family and are known to aggressively attack without any warning signs. The sight is distressing, as it is the painful screams of the baby elk that make it even more so as seen from a nightmare. The fact that they're in an enclosure makes it even more unlikely for the elk to make it out alive. Despite their tiny size, the pelt of the marten holds a significant historical value. It can be dated back to the Middle Ages that their pelts had such value that they were used as a trading good and a form of pavement in Slovenia, Croatia, and Dalmatia. This is why the Croatian currency is called kuna, which is translated as, here is something to heal your traumatized eyes and mind. A lucky thing, as a squirrel is swift and probably is internally laughing at the marten, giving it a chase around the tree. Had the squirrel not been a fast creature by nature, he would have definitely been a goner, since martens are known to eat them as regulars. Just look at him go. Go on, little guy, outrun thy enemy. Though I wonder if by a stroke of luck, this martin really just wants to play. Who knows, maybe some of them are not so evil. Back to another episode of Nature is Scary and Oh God, Make It Stop! Pine martens are omnivores and have a diet that varies. They'll eat small animals such as rabbits, insects, and squirrels. A bunny that resembles snow was grateful for its fur that helps him hide from his predators. But it is not so lucky once after being spotted by this pine marten. The onlookers can only witness the horrific scene as the marten drags the bunny off the deep snowed path. This whole scene that you just witnessed happened to be for dinner time, as hair just so happens to be a rodent that the marten loves to gobble up. Seems like there's no such thing as a safe hiding spot when it comes to the marten and is starting to feel like a true horror movie in the jungle, thanks to this cat-sized foe. He comes out of nowhere from the forest and seems like he knows exactly where to look. He swiftly climbs up a wooden box mounted on a tree that seems to be a birdhouse and whips out its next meal. This squirrel hunter, however, plays a crucial role. As with all nature, the pine marten plays its part in the complex ecology of the forest. The pine marten is specifically credited with reducing the population of the invasive gray squirrel, which is the one you see in this video, which has historically pushed out native red squirrels. The theory is that the gray squirrel is clumsier and heavier than the red squirrel and spends more time on the ground, making it an easier prey for the martens essentially becoming a sacrifice so that the red squirrel population thrives. It is a bloody and gruesome sight as the squirrel is dragged away lifelessly with blood dripping down the wooden box. As scary as they are in the jungle for many creatures, when it comes to humans, all they can do is run. In fact, they aren't the easiest animal to be spotted by humans. They're so elusive that they're often only observed and studied via footprints, droppings, and bits of lost fur than by direct sightings. They are mostly nocturnal, although they do come out during the day in summer. But that doesn't mean they aren't feisty when they come in contact with humans. After invading a football game, the marten runs across freely until a football player gives him a chase. He picks up the seemingly nimble and sweet-looking animal, but is given a shock when it turns in his hand and gives him a painful bite. The player yelps in pain, visibly sounding out the hurt, but manages to not let go of the marten. All living beings, beware of the marten. The three-year-old panda, named Ping Ping by medics, 
was terribly wounded in an attack by Martins. He was spotted by rangers on a nature reserve in China's southwestern Sichuan province. They found him hiding scared and in pain in a cave, tending to his wounds. His abdomen was horrifically injured, exposing his intestines which were infected. He was taken to the nearby city of Chengdu, where he went through a blood transfusion and several hours of surgery. But alas, he succumbed to his gruesome injuries. Since this giant panda was in no way or form a snack for the Martins, just what was the motive behind this gruesome attack? It really does seem like the Martins do this as some sort of sick sport, and in fact this news report from 2016 noted this behavior as well. Lambs have been killed in Westmeath, Longford, Cavan, and Leitrim by the Pine Martin, and they seem to be killing them for sport. They just bore a hole in the lamb's neck. It's a very prominent puncture mark, and just left it like that. And it really makes you wonder, just what the actual fresh hell do these Martins think they're doing? It's a major concern. Langers are known as the monkeys who have such gracious behavior with human beings that it can be hard to tell them apart from a human interacting with another human or a langer. Oftentimes when we see these kinds of videos where an animal is attacking another animal, we can't help but scream at the screen and tell the people in the video to intervene. But the truth is, it is the circle of life and human intervention can cause a huge gap in the chain with one single disruption. So, when we see a monkey being apparently mauled by a pine marten, the only thing we can do is to just do nothing. The monkey tries to shake off the attack but is soon tired out. Eventually, another marten joins the attack as the two now drag the monkey along. However, the primate still has some energy left in him as you can see him fighting till the end trying to make it stop. It is now a super disturbing scene as the onlookers remain confined to their cars and hit the bell icon so that you may never miss a video.